Hello everyone. Today we will learn the wall seam katiya. So how to create a primary, secondary and tertiary wall seam katiya. So let us start with the start mechanical design and generating sheet metal design. And then we will go to this. So as you see, we are seeing already in the first tutorial. So just first we will need to provide a sheet metal parameter here. Let us provide a sheet metal default frame radius. Then change it and then click OK. So now all these other options are activated. Get activated. So these are the important toolbar to sheet metal. There is first one the wall, then roll wall, transformation, roof, bending, manufacturing, and then the constraint toolbar. So we will first see the wall seal patia. So again, uh, the first feature is. Sheet metal design is the, is the wall. So first we will create a wall here. I will click on the top plate. Okay. I will just provide some background here. One fifty mm. The length is and then it is the work done. Now just click on this linear option, sorry, uh, wall option, and then select the profile. And then click to move. So you see, you can create a wall here. So this is the primary wall. Okay. Then you can change the material side. You want material side. Just get this one. This is the upper side. So now this is the planer. Now the second is the wall on edge. Now again there are two types. First one is the automatic, and second one is the cage based. We will see first the automatic side. So just select the automatic, and then select the edge where you want this wall on edge. So if you select, I will first add it. If you select the bottom side, then this will create a wall on this. Reverse side. So you can reverse this. So you can reverse this position from the reverse option. And then click OK. So again, in the power body, there is a feature to edit in the tree. So the button to edit that. So you can maintain this height here. You can see the height. And then you can change the angle also. Here are the parameters, or you can select up to place or face. If there is a place up to which you want to create a wall, then you can select the up to plane or surface. And then here are the lane types. Let's drop down it, and there are four types. So this is the extreme to extreme length. This is up to this up to this length. So these are the parameters which are used to create accurate results. So dimensioning is very important in sheet metal because one or two mm will also matter is matter there. Okay. I think that was the one. Then you can again create a your inward material size. You can also provide here a clearance mode. So if you want no clearance, then you want the, the monodirectional. So if you so if only add a strip there, so here a value eleven mm length is added. Let's see. So similarly, 
Saya ada itu juga. Dan ada bi-direction. Draw a sketch here. Now I will select the first the project element so that this is projected here, and then I will create it as a construction mode. Select this and click on this. Select this element and create it construction. So now I will select this rectangle. Standard element. Now, let's see the sketch. I will show you once again. Let's go to the sketch option. And then, select the face. Sketch again. If you want upper side, then just go inside this. Go inside this sketch with this lower sketch. Inside it, then it is over there. And now go to the wall on edge option once again. Select the type that is a straight base and select the profile. And now select the angle. Just click on this edge, the upper edge. Again, you can modify this. Create a plan here. It's a wall on it. The primary area is the primary primary wall. Then if you want to change that sketch, so double click on this sketch. Just modify it. It's a wall base. So make sure that this sketch should be pointed with the lower edge. For the upper plane, and if you want the lower plane, then you should go inside this with the upper upper edge. So this is option to wall on edge. Now we will see another option that is the the extrusion plane. So this extrusion is basically a it is also a base wall. It is also a primary wall. So We'll first just sketch on this, click on this sketch option, and then I will create this. I will create a whole side sketch here. If you want to reduce the base wall, you can create a base wall with this. You can see that the automatic bend is going to produce there, and then again you can uh, change the dimension. There is limits. You can you can add limits. You can see, and then you can change. It. Limit two dimension and this is it. So this is also basically a primary wall. And on this primary wall, you can create a walls. You can select this wall on it. Just select this edge. 
select the automatic then reserve the position so this is you can create a secondary one here the wall one is then there are then there are lot of options there so you can extend mirror so both side limits are same okay one one limit you need to enter and the ring mirror there similarly if you don't want automatic bend the bend is not created you don't want that you can uncheck that so the bend is not created here then you go to the extrusion you want a automatic one okay. again option is the exploded mode so if you explode this all these flanges are exploded therefore this extrusion exploded so if you preview this and click ok then all these extrusion that is converted into wall wall 1 wall 2 wall 3 so it is exploded into this options so these are the options in this wall so we have seen the wall wall on edge and then if you will see this plan in the next lecture so please subscribe my channel and like my videos if you have any queries comment below i will definitely try to solve each of them thank you thank you for watching